So the latest rate up is Emma, as we're all aware, and obviously with my previous talks with Emma, including in her build video and whatnot, I did say that how she has a good area control, and I kind of want to show that off. Now, um, as you guys can see, I've worked on her a little bit, got up to 70k, I've changed off the artifacts, took off the executioner shit, and I've put on the concentrate of firepower set. So, um, yeah. Uh, couldn't really capitalize on the defense penetration. I just realized my defense penetration has just been horrendous when it comes to getting gears with that substat. But regardless, uh, let's go into actually showcasing Emma. Alrighty, so we're going to go on the battlefield of time. I've already done it, as you guys can see. I'm just trying to get some better times now. Um, but this is probably one of the best modes where emma just completely dominates in terms of giving you control area control and then from that you'll then dive into using your main dps character so let's dive one in we'll go through all of it and i'll show you guys um, why emma is actually really perfectly well designed for this specific mode and just in general she's just a fantastic character in terms of fire um, coverage as well as um, break support so uh, uh that's why i'm kind of still keeping with as i've stated in the previous video i've got two dupes into my emma which means i'm getting full break coverage so i'm going to cater to that hence why i've got the solid analysis gear set on her um rather than going the one hit kill route or um the support route with the um uh the the, the hp gear set which i forgot what it's called oh god anyway so emma's in the building and we're just gonna spam through and again, it is the second skill, which uh, I've said many times, I absolutely adore. So we go in, AOE, the AOE skill of this, the area it, it actually hits. Like the, the, you, at sometimes you'll find mobs outside of the outside of the hit, and you'll think that oh, it's not going to connect. Um, no, it connects. It connects. So just right there, there was a uh, there was a scorpion, not actually anywhere near me, and it got hit. It got clipped. So uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then there's the break. And then. Okay, yeah, so the time is still going up. That's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, that's fine. But you guys get the idea. Um, yeah, we didn't beat our previous score. That's absolutely fine. It's cool. Now, we're on the second stage now. Now, I will say, for modes like these, Emma is crucial. Like, this is why I say if you can at least uh, capitalize on getting at least one copy. Um, again, modes like these, she will make life a whole lot easier. As you guys can see, that AUE got that um, area control, and I'm moving in, and I'm moving over. There we go. That's exactly what you want, and this is why Emma is the best at it compared to any other hunter. There we go, and then we're on the boss. Time has been cut tremendously for her because of that control. Obviously, the boss comes in. I'll spam in these characters. Ooh, okay, so I've missed that. That's fine, but um, if that would have connected, then, of course, you know, that would have been beautiful breakage. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm completely whiffing it, but you guys get the idea. You guys get the idea of how quick we were able to take care of those first three phases of grunts, which cut a lot of time to then get to the uh, boss. And uh, hopefully, for those that are attempting this, uh, you should be getting a good time if you've got Emma. Alright, moving over to the third stage of this. Of course, we've got the Arachnid, and uh, with that much of an issue so i'm sure off the bat just gonna activate this because we're just gonna get that little little light little touch half of the breakage beautiful and we're just gonna i mean again if i if i well if i was smart about it i would have just kept on well i would have switched it immediately but i was just trying to throw in a few emma skills right there i'll bring out emma again because why not oh god damn it okay there we go and then he kind of disappears that's fine all right so you guys get the idea you guys get the idea on emma herself um with, with, with where she's working again if i just stand in the middle that coverage it really is just that coverage and then of course if i can cater more to the um uh the core cool gauge that, that that could be beautiful there we go and then we just go, again yeah so you can really maximize on doing double skill and then doing the uh, core attack that will just give you so much break coverage and it will be heavy break coverage too so um yeah we're just gonna keep got it keep in mind that we've got the ultimate now again when you first time activate it well it's the second time when we activate it um get more damage out of it yeah i'm sure okay, i'm just gonna finish this and just move over to the next <laughs> next fight you guys get the idea of course all right so stage four now honestly in stage four you just got two elites grunts do spawn in but you don't really need to take care of them um yeah i mean you don't really need 
to Emma in this situation. Although she's a nice character. Again, if you if you if you look for that breakage, because obviously the enemies do have their shields up. Um, yeah, I mean she, she'll work nicely here, of course. But I mean, <coughs> if you've got Jiwu, then it's it's a whole different ball game. If you know what I'm talking about. I mean, in a, in a situation like this where there's multiple grunts right there, just pull out Emma, and then we can. Um, and there's that breakage. There's that breakage. Obviously, we've got AOE coverage. We've got burn coverage. So that's everyone gone. And then at that point, you just start bringing out your DPS. I and mean, more importantly, you just want to bring out Chai in here because then um, they do have light weakness. So kind of speed up the process just a tad bit. And then that will leave that be done. So there's that. Again, just, just full on control right there. And then the final stage is going to be with himself with light weakness, which is A OK. But uh, obviously, breakage is something that we need to cater to. I love it how the game starts and the the, the time is going and I can't move. Like, surely that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Am I getting scammed again? All right. So here he is, big man himself, and uh, we're gonna go for the break. We're gonna go for the break. So that is what we're gonna be catering to. So he's gonna jump, dodge that, boom, 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 boom. and then we can just go straight in with this. Nope. And then go for this again. Core attack. That meat cleave, just know that is, I mean, again, that's the activation for heat admission. But let me tell you, that will take away your breakage so quick. And so keep in mind, once that breakage is gone, then you bring out Chai Yen and then it's practically a GG. So at that point, you can just kind of maximize your damage right there. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll play serious. I won't, I won't mess about, there we go, just do my attacks back again so I'm gonna bring out um, Emma yeah her break power on that L on that um, flame cleave is so broken Ooh. and remember she's got breakage everywhere doesn't matter where you are that the breakage power is everywhere and then we'll do the ultimate there we go first time round won't do too much damage it is the second time round that where it kind of does a lot more and then we'll just bring out Chayan once again do our damage Get a few hits in, and then we'll just do this. And this should, if I've maximized my damage output, this should be a GG. No, it's not. Okay, we'll bring up. We'll, we'll bring up Emma. Why not? Go on, Emma. Me leave him. Ah! Burn him alive. He's got his um. Oh god, wait for it. Okay, there we go. Woo! Avoided that one, didn't we? All right. And then again, no matter where you are, no matter no matter how far you are, you you. I've also got to keep in mind, um, Emma does have that fire uh, distance too. Like her weapon um, kind of lunges, it's pretty nice. So, we'll dodge that. Just just to give you guys an idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> it just, see, it just kind of lunges. It is, it's really effective. So, yeah, even if they are at a slight distance, Emma's gonna catch you off. But yeah, with the first three stages, you saw that the control that she had within the first phases, like phase one, phase two, phase three, when there's grunts, the control that she had and how quickly she just made quick work of it. As long as you got the initial copy of Emma, you can utilize her in that way. And again, for Baffled of Time Challenge, she is beautiful for that means. Outside of that, when it came to the final two stages, um, I guess it was more for break, breakage coverage, which again, you can still utilize her in that way, um, especially if you can kind of cater to then her having some good amount of attack power then uh, yeah, she'll work pretty decently well. Um, but then at that point, you kind of want to switch over because of course with these two um, tiers, they do have weakness attributes for light. So this is perfect for us. So you can obviously use Emma, get a breakage going. And then at that point, you can really just capitalize on Chayenne coming in and maximizing her damage. Remember, it is the second skill for Emma that will just break the enemy shield down. Um, so of course, she has break coverage all around, which is absolutely beautiful. But just keep in mind, it is the flame cleave that does the heavy break. Um, and I think for the other breaks, it's just weak and medium, which isn't bad. And again, if you can cater to um, having the um, uh, concentrated firepower, then um, that will help you out with your cooldown. So just bear that in mind if that's something that you do want to utilize. But coming back to the banner itself just before we end it, because that, that's all I really want to show. Because again, that mode right there, she's just beautiful in. Um, if I had my way, I would still cater to try again if you're still debating on what to do. Um, 
honestly getting the initial copy from the custom draw for Emma might be the wave just so you can maximize on getting Chai in because right now she is the highest DPS character and um, even if the enemy does have breakage shield she can still just clean through and that's something yeah, that you want to cater to. In terms of going for dupes if you can I think it's A2 or A3 on, on what you're trying to achieve um, or in what you want so let's have a look. Yeah, sorry, when branding uh, a target increases the skill damage of Dancer and Sword of Light by 50%. Yeah, if you can walk away with an A3 Chai Yen, you are good for a long, 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 long period of time. And then, yeah, when it comes to Emma, just get your initial copy from the custom draw. I think that might be the best route for um, those that are free to play, um, if you wanted my opinion on it. But if you wanted to know why Emma is such an amazing character, she's good at control, area control. Her breakage power is disgusting. Um, if you build a DPS version of her, she can pack an absolute punch. So that's a nice little addition to have. Once that heat mission is in play, it is quite nice to have, you know, especially for the whole team, right? And then she pairs up very, very nicely with Choi if you did manage to pull him from the um, custom draw banner or he'll be a rate up banner down the line, just an FYI. So there's that.